Hi Libra, it's April Nicole. I'm doing some little snippet videos, so I'm not doing like a full reading, but I am doing like little minis. So if you want one, I'm doing them today, and it is your turn, Libra. I'm doing air, air earth, air, fire, water. I did burn though. Check it out. I'm gonna love it. Anyway, I'm outside because it's hot as fuck outside in my house. My air conditioning out. We know maintenance. So, why not just read while we wait? That was fun, right? Yeah, it's better to do on a Thursday. No. I get started. People like, you didn't shoot all the way through our intro. I sure the fuck did. It's a free video, nigga. And you'll love it. Or this is not men's warehouse. Hold on, y'all. Sorry, y'all, my kids always keep me laughing, I promise you. No worries. So I'm gonna drain off my little ice, guys. And we're gonna do your reading. What's it in? Okay. All right, T guys, Libra. Libra, how was you guys doing? I'm gonna put on a song for y'all. Deathbed was for, I can't think it was for Gemini or Virgo. I think it was for Virgo. I might drink too fucking much. Okay. <laughs> Somebody said Trey Song. I'm not playing Trey Song. You know, Trey Song was canceled. I don't know who said that in my ear, but that shit did. You playing, you playing who is this? We're playing, I'm on, I almost said Donald Jones. I'm like, ain't Donald Jones. Ooh, I'm from Chicago. I would have got my ass whooped. Hoping and praying and I'm wishing. Girl, right in my face. Somebody pray hard for this bitch. Somebody saying it. And then I'm just saying it. It's a rise by a sexy eye day. This is how I feel, yo. I'm not gonna start over. I wanna be able. I love this song. Woo! I wanna be able. Ooh, it's sexy. Okay, alright. Alright, bitch. Alright, somebody wants to let you know that you mean something to them, Libra. My man, and I make mistakes. Yes, you do. Don't take your love away. Please, baby, I love you. Don't take your love away. Somebody said, please, I know I'm a shitty ass nigga, but do not leave. I will do anything I can. I like the video. That went through my soul, y'all. Sorry. Okay, Libra. What we got for Libra? What is up with Libra's energy? Damn. Yeah, I got this. Don't take my love away. Shit. King of Swords, Four of Wands. Yeah, somebody been an asshole at home. What's going on with Libra? Libra. Will of Fortune. Five of Pentacles. Somebody getting left in the cold. We're going to put that up a little bit so I can hear it. In a, a little bit in the background. I don't want to get flagged for content. Okay, let's see. Let's see, baby. What's going on with Libra? One right now. Ooh. All right. My bad, sorry, y'all. That's my husband's um my husband's um medication alert. 
Alright, anything else for um, Libra? Nine of Cups. This card is like sticking out. Okay, fine. I will take you. Anything else for a Libra? Anything else for a Libra? I want to take the other two, but I won't. Oh, man. Ooh, I might have to talk to them. I'm to get them later. I just saw something cool. Libra, y'all always got like cool announcements. As soon as I do y'all reading, y'all, it's like a whole bunch of shit I want to click on. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. Click bait. There's my bank too. Oh. It made something very important in this song. Begging. Somebody is saying like, damn all them bitches, I don't love none of them hoes. Alright, let's start the reading. Oh my god. Play, Mom. No, I don't know, I'm so congested this morning. Okay, Libra, I'm sorry, I'm gonna start your reading. <laughs> Cause we've been saying for six minutes, you're like, damn, what the car is that, bitch? Okay, I know. King of Swords. King of Swords, Four of Wands, The Will of Fortune, and Five of Pentacles. Somebody let their ass in the cold. Somebody, okay, look, so this dick was an asshole, right? The King of Swords don't never care about nobody else but himself. He's an asshole, he's ruthless, he's a control freak, and he uses his logic to hurt people. He was married, and then karma came around, and now he a dog in the damn cold by his goddamn self. So someone did some very malicious, evil shit to someone, and it could have been an argument and now they alone. Could be dealing with a Virgo or could be dealing with an Aries. Somebody was an asshole and split up their own fucking family. Yeah. Could be dealing with these signs. Uh, Libra, Aries, Virgo, any air sign. You had an argument that got you put out your crib or you got an argument that it broke up your family or you're keeping up appearances. You paying child support? Four of Wands, yeah. You could you could also be um let me see what King of Swords is. Somebody is greedy. Yeah, King of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Somebody somebody is definitely financially motivated with the King of Pentacles. He only he can do anything he wants to do to get some money. Somebody, that's all they care about is money. They want to make a contract or that's, they're focused on financial aspects. It's secretive. They don't want you to know that. Um, for a while, somebody wants a relationship. They want to create a relationship for the sole purpose of leaving someone in the cold or taking someone's money. Five of Pentacles. Major Swords. Five of Wands. Yes, Five of Wands is doing whatever I gotta do. Fights and conflict the system. Six of Wands to get my success. Somebody's doing whatever they can. Manipulating someone because they're broke and they're trying to get up. So you could be dealing with an air sign. You could be the air sign, Libra. You're being manipulative, very misleading, very calculated because you want success or you want to make it. And you'll do whatever you can if you're dealing with a, um, a Gemini. Maybe you're riding off someone's coattails. I do see the Ace of Cups is like, now it seems like you're trying to pretend that you're in love or you're manipulating someone that you're in love but you're really not in love with them. You want to date someone? Four Swords is like coming out. Your relationship went through a very rough period, a rough period, and now you're trying to come out of that rough period and date again. But Will of Fortune is not on your side. It's like you're trying to establish a relationship after a difficult period of time or after a break 
and it's not working, it's some type of delay, it's just not letting you go forward. Some of you guys could be stuck homeless. Um, the King of Wands is not forthcoming. He's a crazy, manipulative loser. He's not forthcoming. Someone could be homeless and stuck homeless. Now, I do see two aces. One is reversed and one is upright. I get that some things are going to, at first, it's going to be very chaotic. Something's not going to go your way. And then, in the end, it's going to smooth itself out with two aces. It's two, the two of the same cards. I get that something that started off good, it's not going to go well. It's going to be some type of argument or there's a faded argument. Like we're dating a... Um, you ain't a water sign. Y'all got me fucked up playing. Try something. Anyway. Ace of Cups and Four of Swords. Yeah, if you're dealing with a water sign, you're thinking about coming off a break with this person. Y'all been in a relationship, but you have not changed if you're a male, a male a Libra. If you're dating an air sign, this person, you guys are going to argue. And they're probably going to leave you out in the cold. If you're dealing with a cancer, um, especially cancer, I get that there's a lot of things you need to ask this person in regards to their intentions. Someone could be a narcissist, they only care about their own needs. In the future, Libra, I just get that there's a man who's malicious that was in a relationship and it ended because of his own selfishness and now he's trying to come out but it's like a confliction someone can't move on it's because somebody wants some dick or they want their dick to be fucking rubbed the king of cups is not learning his lessons could be a, a scorpio yeah some, somebody's wanting to work out something now see after they've been dumped they feel like oh it's no point in fighting there's no point in fighting. So someone's trying to reconcile something, build something up. Someone's trying to be, someone's trying to have that, that ideal family to have a son with a, with a woman. They felt like they were being greedy or narcissistic. Or someone feels like uh, their wish wasn't, their wish didn't come true, perhaps. So they wanted love, but they didn't get what they wanted. And that was what they wanted. The chariot, they're stuck, but they have to choose between what they want. Or they, it's a lot of confusion and confliction. Someone feels like there's too much going on. The chariot can also be um, needing to choose between two elements or a relationship that backfires on you or stuff. The ace of swords is like the truth comes out. Someone could, was not forthcoming about something. I get that someone was after you for greed or someone was deeply unhappy. They had a wish it didn't come true. They felt stuck. And now they have to sit here and think about the, uh, they have a breakthrough or an epiphany about the reason why they didn't get what they wanted because they weren't forthcoming enough to get it. I get that somebody is left in the cold. Someone's trying to um, leap out of the cold situation, but they're not being honest. And it's like spirit is putting you in that situation for you to be honest. The king of wands, the king of swords of earth is not the good men. They're, they're horrible men. Two kings of conflict. Somebody can be telling you so a girl. Let's get it. Let's... let's go out with another spread so we can end Libra. Oh, I love it, Angie. Alright, let's see what we get. Oops, my bad. I put two cards that didn't belong there. Okay. What's going to go and happen in September for Libra? Because we want to know. That's a lot of cards. Yeah. What's going on with Libra? Someone writing. All right, lovers, page of wands, the stars, so that's not good. What's going on with Libra going into the following month, September? Y'all month coming up. Y'all season coming up next, next in September. This is too many cards. What is going on with Libra? Okay, those are three. I'm going to take because they flew on the lap. 
Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles star, and the Page of Swords, Four of Wands. Somebody has a lot of ideas about what they want to do. What is the outcoming energy for a Libra? Damn, we ain't let me finish the spread. I'm not gonna take all those. What's going on for Libra? Anything else for Libra? Libra now. Six of Pentacles, Magician, Nine of Swords, a Shrimp Card. Someone is really trying to like lie and say they're not after some money, and they are. They're trying to strong arm someone. Somebody, yeah, like somebody is also, you could be paying a magician to do some uh, money magic. It's turning a seven into ten, but it's manipulative because it's greed. It's supposed to be strong during a, a, a depression period. Somebody just got out of a third party relationship, Libra. Somebody got left, Libra, you got left in the cold. You did some irresponsible shit and it left you there. Um, maybe you made an irresponsible financial decision and now you're not in a strong position because of your inability to look at the situation legally. Um, Libra. In your love life, you are not having any good luck. Love versus reverse is like disharmony, being separated from someone you like. You're feeling depressed and negative about your love life. And then the justice card, you feel like you've been done wrong by third parties, but you're, you're finally coming to the root of an issue. That you need to put time and energy into yourself so that you can get married and find a super duper loving relationship. And that can be irritating waiting. It's disappointing news. But really, to be honest with you, a lot of negativity was surrounding your whole reading, your energy for love. In the future, be careful about who you give energy to, who are trying to manipulate you. It could be an air sign. It could be a Leo. It could be an Aquarius. Somebody's trying to manipulate you. They're going to deny involvement. They want your money and your riches. And they will strong arm you for what they want. Deeper, you gotta watch your back, baby. People are trying to come after you for some other shit. Alright. I'll see you guys later.